Hi, I'm Jolly Soule. That's J O L I S O U L E. Thank you. And I'll check this out the best I can. I'm going to call it. First, I must acknowledge that I'm frustrated. The time to consider the impact of the leases was before they were made, when we could have a meaningful discussion about the impacts rather than now, when we have to choose between 35 and 36 well pads. The alternatives in the EIS seem a little bit ridiculous. The modified version being essentially no different than the proposed action division. Until BLM can come up with a modified version that makes an actual difference in the impact of this development, I feel I have no choice but to fall aggressively into the no action camp. The amount of truck traffic that, BL that Bull Mountain will run through Hodgkiss and Pass County is significant. One estimate said more than 43,000 heavy truck trips. This is the kind of truck traffic noise that you really hear, rumbling, loud, rippling green clouds, diesel fumes. Our quiet home in Pitkin Mesa will no longer be quiet. There were quite a few lovely B&Bs, glorious wine tasting venues, and vacation rentals. Why is it that the temporary jobs SG interests will provide get more, get to have more of a priority over our local economy that has longevity? Bull Mountain is also my watershed. In the spring, dozens of kayakers from near and far take to the north fork of the Gunnison. A potential drawdown in water frack wells means that there's going to be less water in the river. And I think I just heard something about spraying water all over the situation to keep the dust down, which is going to be a, consider a considerable amount less water than even that. Um, there will also be spills. There have been more than 700 spills a year in Colorado since fracking took off here, something like two a day. And I seriously doubt that I'm going to be able to get my kayak out of the river in that 24-hour period if they even notice the stuff coming down the river. Um, not being a particularly good kayaker who ends up swimming, I think that's a serious thing I need to consider. Kayaking the North Fork is a joy. I'd like it to be a permanent joy. Thank you.